In this lesson, we will explore how the single stroke roll could be utilized to play not only the grooves that we have analyzed before, but really um, travel across the board of many, many different musical styles. In fact, probably all of them. A very common rhythm, a Brazilian type samba, could be uh, very well executed by just using, again, the most elementary uh, rudiment of all, the single stroke. One of the tricks to make it happen is to play on the correct sound source. In this case, we're going to use the snare drum. But the spacing in between the notes is going to be our key element for success. In other words, again, if you play the rudiment as is, you might get the machine gun effect. But in this particular application, what you want is exactly the opposite. It's something that floats naturally, that has momentum, energy, and just the right amount of spaces in between the notes so that you can actually not classify it in one musical subdivision, but you have to hear it and try to reproduce it and accept it for what it is. It's semi-16 notes or swing-16 notes. Again, it's easier to play it and hear it than describe it from a notation standpoint. To simplify it for you, on this beautiful Vickford pad that I utilize in my classes, not only I love it because it has snares in it, so it simulates as much as possible the snare, but what I, I like to do on it is actually draw <clears throat> two axes and a circle. The circle is where I play, that's the middle of my snare, and the two axes are the one and the a. Ah. One e and that two e and that three e and that four e and that one e and that two e and that three e and that four e and that one e and that two three e and that four e and that one e and that two e and that three e and that four e and that one e and that two that three and that four. So not only it helps uh, to space the notes in a certain way, but the motion actually, and going outbound in this case, helps me to achieve that space and a different sound on the drum. So the sticking being the same, right, left, right, left, right, left, all we're doing is manipulating the space in between the notes and implementing this motion. So again, the first and the last note of our 16 note pattern will be out and the two middle note will be in the center of the snare drum. Because the samba is a strong two feel, it's a two four rhythm, we're gonna play a bass drum on beat two and we should be able to hear a complete samba beat. If I remove the pad,
one more time I was utilizing a very sing simple motion and that helped me to keep my musical ideas in place and I hope it's going to do the same for you. It does take time but believe me it's much easier to focus on how much you can do with one simple idea rather than try to mix and feel overwhelmed by many patterns without successfully being able to produce a musical result. And if you're thinking about um, making analogies, lots of times with my students, I feel that analogies are really a key factor in making them understand things faster. Well, I'm not a cook, and if I go to the best kitchen in the world with the you know, the most incredible selection of ingredients, I'm still not going to be able to prepare a very good meal. By my grandmother in a kitchen with only few things in the refrigerator was able to pull it off and make a great meal for seven people. And so in drumming, you know, you might have two or three solid ideas under your wing and be able to successfully create music as opposed to knowing ton of a ton of patterns books and transcriptions but not be able to translate that into a concrete you know into a musical beat i hope it makes sense